Hello, my name is Claire Laguilloni Marche. Today I'm going to talk to you about the ecology of Paradiopatra tubeworm patches on the abyssal plain, a work I conducted with Dr. Ken Smith and his lab. And so we need at this point a lot of time series from the abyss because more and more they are exploited and there is also climate change. And so the previous work that has been conducted by Ken Smith's um, team has shown that there was changes in the benthic abyssal seafloor and it was linked to all the processes occurring at the surface. So they have shown that, for example, mobile megafauna uh, can change a lot depending on the food coming from the surface. But less is known about the sessile organisms, such as the tube worms, that build patches. And so for my project, we were interested in these worms because they form heart structure and we are in a muddy seafloor environment. So, you know, they provide a rare art substrate for organisms to settle, shelter, feed. So they have a, a potential to be bioengineered, create microhabitat, and if they change over time, it's going to impact many organisms. And we did, in, in fact, found that they were changing in density, in spatial coverage. Uh, they kept uh, the same size, and we also found some associates that were with them. 